Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Teddy Stadium at Leonidas Field for the Marist Football Annual Spring Game. I'm Marist Sports Information Director Mike Ferraro. I'll be providing play-by-play -play for this evening's game, and we'll be joined by a bevy of guest color analysts as we go throughout the night. So left on this drive. Ball is at the 43 as Riley takes the snap. It's a big handoff to Ryan Dinnefield. Throw over the middle and it is complete. Kevin Fitzpatrick on the reception. And he is brought down by Alexander Boosie. But it is a first down as the offense works it inside the 40 yard line. And really nice confidence and pocket presence there by Riley to stand in there and dish that football off even though he had three defenders converging on him. The one who's operating out of the shotgun right now. Center and the ball snaps to Green County. Pass near side to Luke Vanderman. He makes the reception. He is stood off by Alex Boozy. Ford is into the game to this point and gets the defense fired up. How about that? He's right from Luke Vanderman. Makes it down to Ford. A very nice job there on that tackle. He's really piled nice to put it back down. And that is going to end the first quarter. After one period, it is offense 18, defense 13. Marist football home games. You can hear him doing play by play for all Marist women's basketball games. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Brawl, welcome. Great to be here. Great to be back. Another season of football. Not quite underway, but underway enough for me to be excited about it. And there's another big hit by Alex Moody on a pass from Brinkioni, and it's going to fall incomplete as hard as it gets. And Wolf Vander back in the black jump. And the final, I'll tell you what, Moody, last couple of plays here, Jeff, won the first period. This one here in the second, making his breath spell. It seems to be you know, observing most of the first quarter now, watching the second as it's just underway, that uh, the defense play with a little more intensity than the offense. They seem a little sharper here in this spring game, uh, at least the early going than the offense. This was certainly uh, it. I think when you take a look now that at the spring wrapping up, and I think that the biggest storylines from the team perspective are, yes, there are some areas, particularly in the offensive line, where there's going to be some guys who come in in August who are going to be competing for time right away. However, I think...